Welcome fellow recovering traditionalists to episode 171, Summer Book Study for Elementary Math Educators. Welcome to Build Math Minds, the podcast, where fidelity to your students is greater than fidelity to your textbook. I'm your host, Christina Tonnevold, the Recovering Traditionalist and BuildMathMinds.com founder, where my mission is to change the way we teach elementary math to our kiddos. So are you ready to start building math minds and not just creating calculators? Let's get started. Before we get into this episode, this week's positivity comes from a paper that was submitted about a book study that we previously conducted. I feel very fortunate that I had the opportunity to complete this book study. I appreciate Build Math Minds bringing important, effective, doable strategies and practices to light and allowing thought-provoking conversations to happen in order to further teachers' understanding of best practices on helping students catch math. I am very excited to get started on implementing student-led mathematics and conferrals in my first grade classroom. Now we are gearing up for our 2022 Build Math Mind Summer Book Study for Elementary Math Educators, and I would like to invite you to participate. The book study is free. You do need to register, and of course you have to purchase the book if you don't already have it. Go to buildmathminds.com slash book study, and that's all one word, book study at the end, to register for the five-week book study. This will be my last episode until August, and so I'm going to talk about the book that we are doing during this summer book study. Daily Routines to Jumpstart Math Class by John San Giovanni is a book full of ideas to use in your classroom. There is a book for different levels, but we will be using the one for elementary school. I know you won't have a classroom of kids to use the routines during the summer with, but that's not really the point of this book study. During the book study, we will not be investigating the different types of routines in the book because they're fabulous and there isn't much to investigate. When you start back up in the fall, just open up the book and start using the routines. He gives examples for different math concepts throughout elementary school for each of the routine. So no matter what grade level you will be teaching in the fall, you can use these routines from this book. The routines are technically part two of the book. And during the five weeks of the book study, we will be looking more at part one and part three of the book. Essentially, we will look at why we should be using math routines and how to make it actually possible to do it in your classroom. Here's what we will be delving into throughout the book study starting on July 8th. Week one, what not to do for the first few minutes of class and how you can have better student engagement. What is a routine? Some key features of routines. Week three will be about the power of routines, how routines improve number sense, reasoning, and develop math fluency. Week four, how to plan for and implement math routines you will actually do when school starts. And week five, modifying and designing your own routines to meet the needs of your students. Now, each week of this book study, I'll be sending out a video that's either by Rosalba Serrano myself, or it might have both of us in the video. You can watch the video on your own time and then respond to the journal prompts for that week of the book study. We will also have a spot inside a Facebook group for you to reply to the journal prompts so that you can interact with people who are also doing the book study. Now, once you register for the 2024 Build Math Mind Summer Book Study for Elementary Math Educators, that's a mouthful. I'll send you an email with the details along with a link to purchase the book and a discount code from our friends at Corwin, who are the publishers of John's book. To give you a push to join us this summer for the book study, here is a piece from the book on page one about why we should be taking a look at using routines to jumpstart math class. The first few minutes of math class. The start of an elementary mathematics class varies greatly from classroom to classroom, grade to grade, and school to school. 
it might be a mad rush to get our students settled as they come into the room in the morning from recess or from related arts. It might be a blurred start as we change topics from science or social studies to mathematics. It might be the first few minutes of our instructional day, or it might be the last hour of our day. Regardless of how or when it begins, the first few minutes of our mathematics class has the potential to shape the entire lesson by setting tone and purpose. The first few minutes are an opportunity for us to capture the attention of our students and prepare them for the lesson ahead. These opening minutes are also the time when our students' brains are freshest. They tend to remember more of what we teach or do during this segment than any other time of the learning episode. That is why it is such a critical time for us to help students shed their distractions, capture their attention, and jumpstart their brains. Engaging students immediately will increase the likelihood that they'll stay engaged and motivated to learn throughout the lesson. However, we don't always take advantage of those precious first few minutes. We have felt obligated to meet the long-held traditions about how, how mathematics class must begin. We have come to find that the activities instead undermine our goals and the productive beliefs we have about teaching and learning mathematics. First and foremost, we have all experienced our instructional time being hijacked by opening calendar rituals, traditional warm-ups, and homework review. It is difficult to keep each of these from going beyond the allotted time. We have had them unravel, become unwanted mini lessons disconnected from the intended objective because we want to help our students. These opening activities also often focus on the goal of getting right answers. They cause us to begin class by setting the tone that mathematics is the pursuit of answers. If you want to start your math time with a powerful way to engage your students that helps them develop number sense, reasoning skills, and builds their math fluency, join us in the book study this summer to learn how to use routines to jumpstart your math time. Go to buildmathminds.com slash book study to register for the five week book study. Now, I usually say until next week, my fellow recovering traditionalists, but I'm taking a break during summer with these episodes, so I'll be back in August to help you build your math mind so you can build the math minds of your students next year. So I won't see you until then, but I hope that I will actually see you as you partake in the book study with me this summer. So until August, my fellow recovering traditionalists.